Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Land, please, The Binding of Isaac. Uh, Repentance. The Snyder Cut, as you can tell based on the letterboxing. We are bringing this to you in glorious 21 by 8 aspect ratio, so you don't miss a single frame. I, I, I haven't seen the Justice League. I was about to make a joke about, you know... Uh, D D Steppenwolf's disappointing arc. I apologize. I'm not trying to cause problems. Um, we've done everything on the A side. It's finally happened. We have Tainted Isaac. I'm doing it, okay? Tainted Isaac, True Path, Alt Path. How does this work? Okay, you gotta remember. First off, it's 8.55 on a Monday morning. I would say I'm approximately, mm, let's say 80% through caffeination. So we're just, we're really just ramping up here. Uh, and But I, I've made a good play already by not taking that golden heart in immediately, which would have led to us leaving the coins on the ground inside of the curse room. But what's going on with Tainted Isaac? It's pretty simple in some ways. <laughs> um, I think we take the Empress. Uh, it, it's pretty simple in some ways, okay? Every time... Yo, first off, you can only hold eight items unless you get birthright. That's that's a very important piece of the puzzle here. The secondary, but but no less important piece of the puzzle, IMO, um, which I believe stands for uh, Step Into My Office, because we're going to discuss what happens uh, when you play as Tainted Isaac. The, the second most important thing, IMO... You have the option to pick up HP from every single... Oh, that's interesting. From every... Oh, not... Wait, it's not HP. I was wrong. I, I, I thought it had the binge eater effect. But it actually has uh, uh, just whatever this is called. I, I can't remember. There is a name for it. Or it's just the soul of Isaac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, we definitely want Dr. Fetus here. It seems like an amazing start. That's about it. And and the other thing, this is more of like, it's less, uh, you know, on paper how the character plays. It's more like, in reality, how the character plays. But in general, um, it is worth noting, if you pick up HP and then get rid of it, you still get to keep the red hearts that you got from the HP. So, at some point, we should be picking up HP upgrades in order to get some advantage there. But, uh, you know, we haven't had that option yet. So, call me crazy... That's where you go, you're crazy. Give me a second here. I think you definitely take Yum Heart, which is a little unusual. Um, but it, it is a space bar item, which means it doesn't count towards our eight. Um, of these, uh, I think I could definitely be be considering taking the mark. I I think I think it's a great opportunity to go kind of hard early on here. Because we can always get, I mean, we've already paid the HP, don't get me wrong. Um, but these are items, like all three of the items we're holding right now are items I would not mind keeping long term. The exception, weirdly enough, is probably Dr. Fetus. Because there, there may come a time where we decide, you know, it, it's not the best thing for us to be shooting bombs. Um, like, even now, it's a, a little spicy, but... Apart from that, like, th this is actually awesome. I, maybe, like, Dark Matter is, is not that impressive in the whole scheme of things, but... Um... So we got a lot of a lot of interesting choices here. Like a 7 cent membership card. My, my only problem with membership card, and maybe I'm thinking about this wrong, but my, my problem with it is... Our main concern on this run is not gonna be, like, a lack of items. Uh, like, a lack of options, I guess. It's more like we, we just can't hold... Uh, more than a set few. Um, but membership card always gives us a chance to get like a, a rune or a, uh, a, a a card or a trinket. You know, it, it, it's like an, it's a more interesting shop. Let's put it that way. I think I'll take the HP over Jesus juice here. Again, that gives us, weirdly enough, kind of a permanent benefit. I certainly don't see this as a run where we don't want to do the alt path. <laughs> I know it's, uh, phrasing, but, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I think you, you really could not ask for, like, a, a better start here. Let me caffeinate a little bit. Maybe I was wrong about 80%. Maybe, maybe I'm 
it's like 35 percent caffeinated it's a tough choice trinket smelter is also great for the record um i think you know what let's let's actually start with this and uh, I'll, I'll probably just take that down to the next floor and then we'll buy membership card and we could always blow up our donation machine if we really decide we need the money um, but yeah, this is kind of what we're looking for, is stuff that's along these lines. Uh, none, none of this super appeals to me right now. Like, we, we don't really need Black Rune as much as we normally would. An 18 cent, uh... Yeah, we're bouncing. Uh, an 18 cent empty vessel is, is really good. That being said, do I see us being in a position where we're gonna be able to use that? Probably not. And also, we don't have the money. But that's, you know, we, we can work with that, but it is worth noting, at least. Um, it's not worth using Ace of Clubs. Anyway, I'm, I'm here. It's, uh, it's a Monday morning. Feeling good? That it had a good weekend. Uh, hit myself with a bomb. Not in real life. That would be devastating. Although I will say, according to the movie Jingle All The Way, you can be hit with a bomb non-lethally Sinbad drops a bomb on oh my god <laughs> he's so good I don't know if it'll work synergistically here but Sinbad drops a bomb on the ground to try to uh, slow down the police who are trying to keep him from getting the uh, turbo man action figure well that we're not gonna get the bombs but I'm happy we did the room nonetheless um, and I believe, I mean, it's like a Looney Tunes cartoon, essentially, you know? Like, the police chief, he just ends up having, like, you know, burn marks on his face and his hair gets messed up and stuff. I think his hat loses its brim or something. He doesn't actually suffer, you know, the ill effects you would expect from a situation like that. But it's for kids, you know? You can't have a catastrophic, you know, explosive incident in a movie for children. You just gotta have, like, a benign one. <laughs> Tier size HP. Well, let, let's peep this first. Hmm. I, I really do think that if, if I could go back in time, and maybe this is like the opposite of the sunk cost fallacy, um, but if I could go back in time, I think it would make sense to get uh, guppy items. They seem much more easy to come by. I, I'm actually going to do it anyway. I'm going to... I'm gonna. No, come on. You're going to pay for guppy's hairball for what? Just just to get the transformation to become guppy? It, I... I Look, we're going to build a run here. It's going to be a little different, but it, it's... We have basically the recipe for a Flash Isaac victory. We have... Okay, careful. We have damage, obviously. And we have a ton of HP. Like, or it, relatively speaking, we have a ton of sustain, at least, via uh, Yum Heart. So, I, I really do feel like this run... If you just keep in focus of what you need, I think it's got a, a very, very acceptable chance here. Now, if I could just, thank you, learn how to actually shoot these bombs that would benefit me. What did I get up to this weekend? Not not a whole heck of a lot, but but not a little. I had some adult errands that, that needed to be run. Um, again, I've t freed myself from the tyranny of HelloFresh, so I'm excited about cooking again. Yesterday I made... Uh, Let's call it a, a Parmesan and garlic encrusted salmon. Did I make it in the air fryer? You know it. Look, it's it, it, if you want something to get crispy, it's it's ba they shouldn't even call it an air fryer because it obviously just confuses people who want to feel superior. Um, yes, I have an air fryer. It's called an oven. They should call it a crispifier because this nobody nobody would turn up their nose at the crispifier. They wouldn't be like, I don't understand what it is. Does it fry the air? You'd be like, nah, man, it makes it crispy. You know, like when you're watching TV at like uh, 3 a.m. And the, and the signal gets all crispy. It's quite the room here. Please? I just... Thank you, thank you. You know, when it goes... It gets crispy. Regardless, um, I mean, that was... Uh, it, that was a part of it. I also, having played Sneaker RX or Snake RX last weekend, um, chat told me it was basically just uh, like an indie 
auto battler, and I felt like all of a sudden, this is magic skin. We use it on the secret room, we win easily. Um, I, I felt like, you know, I, in, if you haven't watched the videos on Snake RX, I really recommend it. I think it's, um, I, I don't know, the staying power. I, I also don't I like how whenever we talk about like something positive, we immediately have to couch it in something negative so that people take us more seriously. But I do, I, I mean, I have to admit that I feel like if I was breathlessly like, oh, it's really good, people would be like, it's not that good. But if you go, oh, I don't know how long it'll stick around, but it's really good, people are like, you know what, that's fair. Um, I think we, we definitely go Keeper's Elbow on this one. Which will, uh, no matter what we buy from the shop, as long as we don't get rid of the item, we should keep the stats, which is, is really good. Um, but I think it's, not only is it good... And we can start dumping our HP here. Um, I don't know what for. Tier size and range. I mean, I guess we'll take caffeine pill. But um, by the way, you're gonna ask, and and you you might not ask, but many people will be asking. Can you just uh, endlessly farm the HP? No, they thought of that. I know it's uh, surprising <laughs> that they that they played that tape all the way out to to its edges, but uh, they did indeed think of. One HP upgrade being able to just give you infinite HP. They, they puzzled that one out. Um, you could be forgiven for wondering whether or not they would based on not puzzling out like, hey, what if you use an Emperor question mark card and it gives you Mausoleum Mom? But I'm not trying to get into that negativity right now. Um, but it, it's basically like... Uh, oh my god. Let's, let's start here for a second. It, it's basically like an auto-battler. I think I'm going to stick with Yumheart for now, believe it or not. And, and that's a fine get there, but um, it's basically like an auto battler. You have passive units that you control, and you're just driving the battle bus, trying to like get them in range of the enemies and also uh, you know, keep them from being killed themselves. So I, I really, I, I was enjoying the mechanics. I'd, I'd never uh, really gotten into an auto battler, and then... You know, finally in it being introduced in, like, this indie context and, and understanding, you know, hey, you should fish for, like, uh, you know, uh, another sorcerer to come up, because if another sorcerer comes up, then you get the sorcerer synergy. Reroll the shop 17 times. Oh, you shouldn't have rerolled the shop 17 times because uh, you, now you're not getting interest from the bank. And, you know, it's a really, it, it, it's a cool type of uh, genre that I have looked down upon in the past, maybe because it was tied to, you know, the MOBA ecosystem that I was not necessarily... I mean, I'm not against it, I'm just, you know, I'm not the MOBA guy. Definitely we just take. Um, okay. No problem. Anymore, at least, I'm not the MOBA guy. So I thought, you know what, I guess I'll play Teamfight Tactics. I downloaded it, I signed into my Riot account. Played some team fight tactics. Did the tutorial. The tutorial is probably the most misleading tutorial I have ever played in video game history. I'm not sure if that is a, a sign that it's a very well done tutorial in that it hides the complexity of the game until, uh, you know, you, you actually get into a real game. But the tutorial basically went like this. Hey, you gotta buy this guy. And you're like, okay, I can do that. You buy him in the shop and then... Uh, you win easily in your first round. And then it goes, oh, look at that. There's two more of them in the shop. Buy them up. And you, have, you buy them up. And basically, I'm not going to belabor the point, but essentially the entire thing is just, uh, and, and we are going to try to get this item here, but the because HP is worth so much for us. Um, it was just like, hey, you've got some Dawnbringers. Anytime you see a Dawnbringer, buy them. And then you win, and you're like, oh, this game's not hard at all. And then it starts up and you realize th there's four billion heroes in League, none of which I recognize just by their PlayStation 2 character model. And you gotta draft them in like this, uh, hold on, range luck. I, I think we'll take range luck for now. Um, you never know what the luck stack could, could bring us long term. Um, you know, like I, I got uh, Grygash and... Zemo and uh whoa easy there. Uh set and ash on my team, and then it's like, okay, you're in last place. You get first pick at the carousel. And then I, I am like, are you gonna tell me the names of the heroes or anything like that? And they're like, nah, you just you just learn them from playing three thousand hours of league. 
And then I'm like, I haven't played 3,000 hours of League. And they're like, what, are you like a monk or something? And I'm like, ah, oh, no, I just like, I didn't really get into it at the time when it launched. And then by the time I considered getting into it, it had already had a reputation for, you know, turning otherwise sane individuals into uh, monsters. And they're like, you know what, fair enough. But it's a, yo, Birthright is worth, it's worth. <laughs> I apologize to my donation machine, but it, but it do be worth. Four extra items is a is a huge difference here. But uh, yeah, and I, I will say because I know people are gonna be like, you can just right click. I was playing on my phone, so like maybe that's part of my problem in the first place. But you know, I gotta spend a little bit of time out with the the family in the living room and have something on, you know, while Corky Romano is playing in the background as well. I don't, I don't really want our other items there. I think we just dropped HP and Dad's Key. Dad's Key we can't even really hold. Obviously, because it's already a spacebar item. Um, so I, I, I played four games of it, I think, over the course of the weekend and lost all of them badly in the bottom half. And moreover, essentially had no idea what was happening the whole time. So it, it, it's one of those, it, you know, one of, one of my favorite expressions is uh, I'm not sure the juice is worth the squeeze. It's the idea that like, you know, there's a lot of things out there that, that have merit. Um, and if you've already paid the cost that goes into actually like interfacing with the game, then of course you're like, it's good. You know, I, I feel the same way honestly about things like, like Zachtronics games. I mean, I would say like the juice is worth the squeeze on those, but um, you know, if you're not uh, programmatically minded or something, if you don't have any experience with that, it, or even just, I, I guess, like analytically minded in that sense, games like, uh, you know, Space Chem and, uh, sure, Shenzhen IO and stuff like that, they're, they're probably not gonna maybe be that easy for you to get into. You're gonna need some outside resources. After you play them, you might be like, that was a very rewarding experience. I'm glad I did it. All of that is very fair. And I'm sure it's probably true for Teamfight Tactics, too. I mean, obviously, there's people on Twitch that have played, you know, a billion hours of it. Um, we'll, we'll blow these up, but then I think we're going to leave. But, uh, you know, a guy with a relatively, hopefully temporarily limited uh, free time combined with, uh, you know, new baby... Combined with can only really play on the phone because he wants to get out of his office. Combined with I have no knowledge of who these League of Legends characters are to begin with. So I don't know what the heck is the difference between a brawler and a, a Dawnbringer and a Hellion. And, a, you know, you get the idea. Um, maybe it's not the right time for me to get into TFT. I was like, I, I really... <laughs> you can call it age if you want. What I think is funny, though, it, I mean, sometimes, you know, I, I, these are ignorant opinions to some extent. And, you know, because games are a, a hobby, you know, when you insult the games that somebody has chosen to spend, you know, three hours a weeknight with and eight hours a week, uh, weekend day with, sometimes they get a little ornery, which makes sense. You know, whenever people insult Isaac, I was like, you just you wait for Afterbirth Plus, you'll be so you'll be ashamed. And then, like, you know, after Birth Plus came out, I was a little, eh, still good, don't get me wrong. And I was like, just you wait till repentance, you'll be ashamed. And then they were, eventually. Um, but especially, like, the older I get, I think, like, the more I embrace simplicity in games. And I don't even mean, like, you know, casual games. Like, uh, everyone's, you're, you're supposed to, like, hate Candy Crush if you're a so-called core gamer, right? You're like, oh, excuse me, I don't use my brain to match up the cupcakes with the brownies. I use my brain to uh, notice a piece of waist-high cover, run to it, press the right bumper, and then uh, pick off enemies one by one using controller auto-aim, and then eventually at the end of the game they go, oh, you had a choice to kill these guys, but you chose to kill them, you monster. You know, it's like I... I the, the gamer gatekeeping is always a little... Hello. A little humorous to me, let's say. I hate you. Uh, I didn't get my deal with the devil. Man, you know what? I probably wouldn't have gotten it anyway. Let's not worry about it. But I, I, I guess I would say, like, it's more like simplicity in the design that appeals to me, right? 
Like something like I, I I think a great example of this, and it's a game that I do not really like anymore, but there was a time obviously where that was the case, is is PUBG. That's a game that is is not easy, because you're going up against, you know, 22 year old wunderkinds who, because of distance learning, you know, don't have to be in class anymore. Instead, they just get to pretend to be in class while they're you know farming up car 98k headshots. And then also, you know, the cheaters. But uh, it, it's such a simple game that is very easy to play. Let's go check our shop again. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a premise you can explain in like two seconds, and the complexity is more about actual, I, I would say, skill rather than knowledge, you know? And that's why I'm so bad at it, <laughs> to be honest. I'm just like, none of these items, I, I do know they'd give us stats because of Keeper's Elbow, but... Uh, none of these items really like appeal to me that much. I think I'd rather just save for our next uh, our next floor and, and spend that money. I mean, we're going to get the stats anyway. We might as well spend it when it's a little bit more apropos. Teamfight Tactics is like the exact opposite, I think. And well, not it, it's a different design philosophy. It's like, hey, let's build on the back of our like already complex game, um, and then on top of that, like. I mean, every... I'm not gonna annoy the uh, all the gamers out there. Because, I mean, I, I think you could misrepresent this however you want. And maybe I'm distorting reality right now just by doing it. But, you know, every time you buy a hero, um, that hero has stats. Okay, but not only do they have stats, but they have an active ability. Um, what's their active ability? Oh, don't worry. You get about point, uh, zero four seconds to actually figure it out for yourself if you're interested. Um, you just right-click on them really quick. Sometimes they also come with a piece of equipment. Oh, by the way, if you combine, like, uh, two pieces of equipment, it makes a new piece of equipment. Um, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends. You gotta know the recipes. Um, and then, oh, by the way, don't worry about the way that these interact with, uh, you know, the other characters that you'll see here. It, it kind of explains it. Oh, oh, your, your round just started. Now, all this being said, I do have to acknowledge... Ouch. Um, I'm... I think if I w were in a position where I had more time, I think I would think it was pretty freaking sick. Because <laughs> it seems like it's one of those games where the skill floor is just like so unbelievably high that like there's... I, I did, I found like shades of, you know, young teenage NL with a little bit more free time popping back up. And I shouldn't go too hard here, but we're going to we're gonna do it a little bit. Um, where I was like, I, I was compelled, you know what I mean? Rune bag is, is decent enough. We, we can hold it temporarily for an advantage. Like, even while I was falling asleep last night, I was like, I wonder if maybe I just, maybe I'm one piece of the puzzle away from assembling it. But I think it's just that the new player experience is, perhaps it, it's impossible to avoid in a, in a game so complex. Um, but the new player experience is so, like, hostile, or it's so opaque as to be hostile, I should say. Anyway, I also watched a little bit of the Westminster Dog Show. I tweeted about this, uh, Peking's dog, Wasabi, that won the toy division. I'm happy to report that Wasabi later went on to win the entire competition. Big ups to Wasabi. I knew you had it in you. Many people said he looks like a Star Wars character, to which I said, don't insult Wasabi. If anything happened to Wasabi, I would hurt everyone in this room and then myself. Okay, we're not, we're not going deeper here. It's so... A dog show is weird. Right? Like, I... It, I, I, I've never been a, a dinosaur kid or like a, you know, an... an animal like a horse guy i know that's not normally the way you consider it going but you know I, i've never been like that but a dog show is really strange oh first off like you know you ever watch like you know the the belmont or something like that the kentucky derby right um the horses are always named ridiculous stuff but i think we just kind of embrace that we, we may die here just for the record you just kind of embrace it because you're like, oh, that's like the, it's the culture of horse racing is that the horses are named something ridiculous like, you know, the forest moon Endor or something like that. Are we, are we still going here? I'm very scared. I'm very scared. Um, but I, it, there's something weird about like I was watching 
uh, yesterday. Because, I mean, it's compelling entertainment. Because the worst case scenario, you get to see a bunch of, like, cute dogs every five minutes. Like, it's better than watching baseball. Um, and they give you a little history, too. Like, like one of the dogs that came out, I, I can't remember uh, what, what breed it was. But it was, like, this was uh, introduced. Or th this, this dog's been around for over 6,000 years. And I was like, geez, man, this dog doesn't... He looks. Pr I, I would have thought he was like maybe six or seven years old. I didn't realize that he, you know, predated written history. Don't. Okay, I didn't die, which is nice. Let's try not to die to this either. <laughs> would have been an embarrassing way to go. Okay, we, no, no, no. We we have HP, right? I mean, the HP we literally just picked up. We can swap out for for the luck again. Okay. Why am I playing the Angel deal, by the way, you might be asking, and it's kind of looking increasingly like you would be in the right to do so. Um, it's just, uh, you know, we could get more items out of it. The Spirit Arts would be nice as well, don't get me wrong, but I can definitely give you bombs here. Okay, thank you. Sorry for the caffeination there. But a, a dog show is particularly strange, right? Because it's like... I don't know, like the... It, I guess what it is, is like it, it feels like the dogs could not possibly have a concept of the fact that they're in a competition. And then, like, I, I hate to say it, but... Oh, let's go. The, the gamut they force the dogs to go through to be judged is hilarious. Like, some old dude in a cummerbund comes over and, like forces the dog to open their mouth and like looks in looks at their teeth and then uh you know like grabs their scrotum and i'm like what are you doing you know this is like a pet right like i i'm not trying to rain on anybody else's hobbies or whatever i'm just like i'm i mean i guess that i'm like what are you doing there's you're you're weird <laughs> and then it's so like, uh, you know, figure skating always struck me as like a sport where it it has a blend of... Uh, let me put it this way. There's some sports where, uh, you know, the result is essentially completely objective. Um, you know, uh, uh, and I mean, this is not actually the best example. I, w I wish that it was a better one. But um, a an example, I would think, is like a boxing knockout. You know, if somebody hits you in the head... And you go down and you can't get up before the 10 count hits. I, admittedly, they can stall you on the counter. The, the referee could be like, he can't fight anymore when you still think he could fight. But you get the general idea. And then, you know, figure skating is kind of like... And I'm fine with that. But figure skating is kind of in the middle where I know that there are like... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's, there's standards which are judged to... Like, you know, when you do this jump, it's worth a maximum amount of, like, this many points if you, you know, execute it properly. And if you don't, there's, like, standardized penalties and stuff like that. That's what we're looking for. And I think we just leave now. But we have to obviously get the, the knife piece. Um, not, not really my finest move on this floor, but, I, I mean, it does take us to essentially full HP. We're so slow, man. What happened? This is going to be a long one, too. Um, and, and then a dog show is like, it's so subjective, obviously, you know, because they're all the world's goodest boys. Um, but even like they'll see, the judge will see like 30 dogs and then just walk around in a circle for like five minutes and then be like, okay, these seven dogs come here and then like run a lap. And then they run a lap, and then the judge is like, okay, you're first. And I'm just like, what, since you rem I don't believe that you remember what that dog's uh, teeth look like. And I'm, I'm putting the PG-13 version of that joke in here. I don't believe, I, if I asked you to draw from memory a, a picture of that dog's uh, dental uh, x-ray, I don't think you could do it. I, I'm sorry to tell you, are you suggesting the people who judge the dog show maybe are... I, I'm not suggesting they don't know what they're doing. I'm suggesting that I don't think that the human brain is capable of holding that amount of information in a meaningful sense. I, I think that you're putting on airs and you're 
ascribing to merit what is actually determined to some extent by what you had for lunch that day. You know, you had a phone call with your, your uh, with your kid or something like that, and they told you, like, they don't want to see you again. And that makes you maybe a little bit more predisposed to, like, uh, an English bulldog instead of uh, an Alaskan Malamute or something. I'm, I am. I'm suggesting that there are things involved in the dog competition that are not so much... Uh, and I'm speaking from a position of ignorance, in case it's not abundantly clear. I think there are things perhaps involved in the dog competition that the dogs have no control over. That is what I'm suggesting. If you got an issue, here's a tissue. That being said, it's the most compelling sport to watch. Well, number one is your team in whatever sport you like to watch. Your team competing in the playoffs. That's like... That'll get your blood pumping a little bit. We don't have a raw HP enabler. Um, I, I really don't think either of these are that good. We could, and this is one of the things that annoys me about this character, just to be frank. We could spend the next 20 minutes debating what item we should pull in order to fit something like Fanny Pack in. The reality of the situation is neither of these items are likely to have uh, a, a sincere impact on our ability to succeed. Better off waiting for something that's a little bit more apparently obvious and good, is, is my two cents. That's the most golden butter I've ever seen in my life, man. That's crazy. But I, I stand by... I, dude, I mean, I would love to watch more weird sports and the dog show is a weird sport but it's it's fun man who, who doesn't like seeing a cute dog now and then but they do i didn't finish my point earlier they have weird names uh, like i and i i apologize for this but because i'm again speaking from a position of ignorance i think one of the dogs was sponsored like it was named like everybody time to party absolute like the vodka brand, like get in here or something like that. And I was like, first off, what the heck do you say when the dog poops on the ground? Who, hey, who did this? Who did this? Don't look at the floor. The party's on, everybody get in here, absolute. The party's on, everybody get in here, absolute. Did you do this? Like, it's just. I get that you you know when you you talk about a dog show you might be predisposed to assume that the owners enjoy the sound of their own voice but I, it just seems to me a little a little much. Um, I think we're gonna get to full HP without the prayer card, quite frankly. So I actually feel like Perthro is the play. Weirdly enough, Icicle Baby is freaking enormous. Um. Of these, definitely my personal pick right off the bat is range plus luck can go. I don't think that's uh, of immediate use. And then there is a tiers upgrade. Um, I, I, I don't really care for it. I would say what we'd think about now is probably caffeine pill. I think I'd rather have caffeine pill, quite frankly, but, uh, you know, it's nice to be in a position where I don't, I don't really feel like we're fishing. I feel like we're, we're doing great, quite frankly. If anything, um, I do want to spend more at our shop, and, and this is an XL floor, so things are about to start moving pretty quick, but... I do also want to say, I, you know, I've been going out buying groceries even more often than usual because we've been doing the... We're, we're free from the tyranny of HelloFresh, which is the way I will phrase it until the day I die. Um, and I think... I, don't get me wrong on this one, okay? Uh, we, need, we need to do this all in one go, I'm sure. Give me a sec. <laughs> okay, my mistake. Um, help, help me. Um, I... I I, I'm glad, obviously, that things are returning to normal. What I had forgotten is that for some people, including probably some of the people out here watching this, and I, so I, I just ask for your forgiveness when I say this, your normal is weird, and you should tone it down just a little bit. We're still, like, you, it's encouraged in BC to be, like, masked up. Um, in, indoors, you have to be pretty much, I mean, I think literally everywhere, unless maybe, like, you're at the dentist or something like that. Um, 
but uh, you know, especially inside. But but outside, I would say like for a lot of people as well, um, it's uh, it's encouraged and also observed. But I saw a guy yesterday. Um, I I was you know walking to the grocery store. He was a little far away. I thought he was fiddling with a mask. You know, there was something around his face. And I was like, uh, oh, you know, whatever. I didn't really think too much of it. I was like, he's, he's putting his mask. Maybe, you know, it happens. You leave the house, you forget you don't have your mask on. You, uh, you know, fiddle with it and you hope that you don't get judged too much, you know, for being like a disease carrier or something like that. And I got a little closer, I realized this dude was not fiddling with a mask. He was walking and flossing at the same time. As somebody who is a little busy. I'm not going to say I'm the busiest person on earth. But as somebody who is a little busy, I want to say, if you find yourself in a position where you have to floss in public while you're moving around and shooting your little, like, detritus everywhere, you suck at time management, buddy. There's other... I, I highly support the paralyzation of, of tasks that, uh... You know, you can do... That was a great smack. I can't really be too upset. Um, I, I highly support the paralyzation of, of tasks that you can do uh, at the same time without incurring negative consequences. Flossing and walking is not one of those. If you want to floss when you're on the toilet, be my guest. You want to floss in the shower? Nobody cares. Flossing and walking, you've made... And, and I know that for some reason... Like, people, if, if they saw it themselves, and I see some of your Twitter feeds when you tweet me. I know what goes on to some extent in your life. Somebody at the grocery store has, like, one shoe untied. You make, like, a 300 thread tweet. Oh my god, you won't believe what I saw at the grocery store. This boomer, his shoes, were, you won't believe this. One of 17, two of 17. Okay, so first the backstory. I had to go to the grocery store because, you know, and blah, blah, blah. blah. You get, like, it's, everybody has main character syndrome, right? Like, you, you, your own stories, you're like, everybody's got it. I mean, you ever hear somebody, like, tell a story at a party? Like, they never get to the point, and there's some irony involved here for sure. But, um, I, you really, I, I, I'm surprised, let's say sometimes, I'm surprised that when these things happen to other people, they immediately are like, this is the craziest thing that's ever happened. And then as soon as you mention it happening to you, they start hitting you with excuses. Maybe his car broke down on the way to the dentist we didn't have time and he had to floss because he was just eating a romaine lettuce a bag of hearts of romaine and you like come on man there's just some things you, you just don't do we definitely are going to take a look at champion belt here um and, and one of those things i think is flossing in public I mentioned this before, I did see a man shave on a plane once, not in the bathroom, mind you, just literally, and we're just buying for stats right now, but just literally in the, like, in his seat, he was using one of those, like, electric razors, but this is, um, it's not as lights out as I hoped it would be. We have a great run. We're actually, we, I would say we're, we benefit from how we suffer right now. That was interesting, I didn't know that could happen. What I mean by this ridiculous non-sentence is um, our main problem is HP, but we also have something that augments that. I still want to keep Rune Bag. Um, at this point, we can we can get rid of membership card without incurring any negative consequences. I think. I thought I got rid. Oh, I got Mom's knife. That's what's happening there. <laughs> I was like, where the heck did uh, Dr. Fetus go? Ah, freaking... Whatever, whatever, dude. Forget the deal with the devil. We don't, we don't need it. We can take whatever we want, and it doesn't count. So we take the negative, because we're very unlikely to make the Polaroid happen here. Forget that deal with the devil. Nobody cares. How, how many bosses do we have to fight in rapid succession here? I get this because we had an XL floor, but... I shouldn't really complain. An XL floor on the mausoleum is probably like a pretty, um, it's a pretty good get. Help me. No, no. 
not not after everything we've been through. That's very nice, thank you. Okay. What do I think my odds are? I actually still think they're pretty good. Whether you believe me or not, I think they're they're pretty strong here. We could easily get a deal with the devil on this floor just by not getting it by the boss. But I also feel like, of course, we could just pop our Awas rune. And if we feel like we're in an okay spot... You just run it... <laughs> ...to the boss here. Definitely, like, I mean, it, HP is like the victimless. It's not even a crime. It's just, like, victimless. Red hearts are, of course, you know, good to begin with, but... Literal HP ups. Bumbo? Come on, man. Like, it's not bad. It, we, we could probably do better with Bumbo than with some other stuff, but... I, I think we're now in a position we can lever ourselves up a little bit. By which I mean, start taking some pills. That's a good one. Um, definitely not willing there. I really, I, I think if we got to full HP, this is not putting a rush in just to do so. I don't remember what the Tainted Strength card does. So I, I'm going to look it up. That's how you know I'm serious, okay? I wouldn't look up how to use the red key, but... I will look up... Uh, what the what the tainted strength card does in this situation i mean soul of the keeper is like temporary pog and then you realize like what's the point so i'm not gonna look it up just yet but i'm gonna see what happens like if we get to full hp which we will in like a room if we don't get hit let's see okay isaac repentance strength card one moment tarot cards are these tarot cards are, this is the old wiki dude it's not get out of here okay cards and runes binding of isaac <laughs> cards major arcana cards what okay here we go strength <laughs> i found it all enemies in the room are weakened becoming slow and take double damage this effect lasts up to one minute or until the room is cleared. Uh, that's a, assuming it works on bosses, and it may not, but assuming it works on bosses, that's pretty incredible. So anyway, that I mean, I, I, I had dad duty. I played a few games of Team Fight Tactics. I watched Corky Romano, which is not even worth mentioning, because it's like, you guys want some cookies? Um, it is noteworthy, I would say, because I, I'm, a, I'm a big connoisseur of uh, movies that uh, have scenes where somebody is electrocuted in a hilariously, like, bad uh, way. I don't mean, like, as a sadist. Like, I love to see people be shocked. I mean, like, you know, I've talked about how in Home Alone 2, they, you know, Marv gets electrocuted so badly he becomes a literal skeleton. Corky Romano, they, they hook his uh, his chest up to a car battery. Bro, how much HP do you have? This is absurd. They hook his chest up to a car battery, and then somebody just used, like, what appears to be, like, a blue highlighter to draw lightning bolts all over him for several seconds. It's, uh, it's special. It's a, it's a special thing. What the heck is going on? I thought you guys were items! Are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's all right. We're still at full HP. I mean, I'm I'm very much not sweating this. Though the one thing, like I feel very comfortable on on Uber Mom now. The one thing I'll say is that I just don't. Uh, I don't know how like the enemy, the boss, I should say, has some attacks that do like knockback. Uh, not so much to me, but but to the bullets. That that has me perturbed slightly, with the knowledge that. Come on, man. Come on. Thank you. I, I could pretty easily end up shooting bombs into, like, my own face, but the enemy taking double damage, and the enemy, of course, as you know, is now called the boss. Um, we should bomb our way... While we have full HP, we should bomb our way out of all these rooms. This is getting ridiculous. 
Uh, never mind, we got uh, a crawl space, which is going to contain Mom's knife, and uh, I'm the greatest player of all time. Many people will... It's... Uh, you've, okay, so you're gonna be, like, maybe mad. I think we could go in there, but there is a glitch right now where instead of getting uh, a black market in that situation, you get an error room. Because we're on the final floor of the game, I have no idea um, what that would mean for us. I'm trapped and stupid. So I, 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 strong suspicion that it could actually ruin our whole game. And as a result, I'm, I'm hanging back here. Now we're forced to make a choice. I actually feel like, you know, the strength card is great, obviously, but Soul of Eve is, is maybe like the highest damage rune if you have a long boss fight. We've used it to good effect a couple of times. And we've used it to bad effect several, but it's okay. Yeah, that was pretty much my weekend. He's done it. Don't have anything else. Uh, really to say when grocery shopping at everybody's favorite uh, discount warehouse realize that you know despite having a child thinking that maybe Costco made more sense for us now um, still like uh, it's a store I, I think I respect Costco more than I actually get value out of being there because um, like it's like I live a pretty I, I don't know what the word would be, okay? It's not like a Spartan lifestyle. It, you know, certainly that would be ridiculous to even suggest. However, like... You know, if I need something, I, I guess I just get as much of it as I need. So, like, we went to, we went to Costco, and, you know, I'm... I, I will admit, you know, that I get a... a crate of 28 individual bags of veggie straws yeah and and that's kind of like what i'm there for but apart from that we were walking down all the aisles and then you know it was like the, there's a bit in here like millennial costco like i was like oh ketchup we need ketchup and then the only thing there was i know it's the oldest bit in the world but they were only selling it in like huge three packs please birds don't leave me i think they have left me what, what happened to my birds, man? I vaunt my bird? And you're like, oh, well, you know. I need ketchup, but I certainly don't need three, like, industrial-sized containers of it. Oh, like, we need uh, mustard right now, but I don't really want to get, like, seven glass bottles of, like, Maillé Honey Dijon mustard. Like, we don't have the... We don't have the capacity to, like, hold that stuff, man. I just want, like, a single container of ketchup. And then just say the line. You know the line. Why are you at Costco, then? Well, I'll answer your question. The food court. I think we're gonna die, by the way. Um, sincerely. Not trying to just make it seem like, oh, life's so hard. But the, I think we're gonna die. And I think we're gonna die. Oh, that hurt. Uh, because I misunderstood how the crow would work here. Who knows? I, I might be wrong. We may be able to succeed. It's looking unlikely, though. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. I, I thought the crow would have taken us there. I, I knew something was up when it only attacked the hands. But I was like, ah, oh, when when we get an enemy that, you know, when the version of this boss that only has oh, oh, one hitbox shows up, it'll be fine. Instead, they gave us like two birds and then they just disappeared. But I, I take responsibility for that. We could do better. For now, though, it was a fun episode and a long one. Thanks for watching. Don't be enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will uh, see you next time. See ya.